read these psalms every night before you sleep to reverse every negative words spoken against you hello my wonderful family how are you all doing i hope i met you well it's your girl once again blessing and in this channel i try my best to draw you closer to god to teach you all how to use the word of god to pray and get answers from our creator and i also try my best to teach you all natural remedies in general that works to use and help your life so if you're seeing this face for the first time you are most highly welcome don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will become a full member of this our wonderful family and for my returning subscribers i appreciate you all very well i don't take your support for granted thank you so in today's video i am going to be teaching you all how to pray and reverse every spoken words against you okay i'm going to be teaching you how to counsel the effect of every spoken words against you this word is deeper than how you see it yes believe you me a lot of persons that smile with you laugh with you you know do things with you all of them are not your friends i'm not trying to you know make you believe that everybody you have around you are enemies no but 50 percent of people that are closer to you some of them are not really they're not genuinely happy for what god is doing in your life and that is why you all need we all need to always pray these bible verses every night before we do what we sleep so that god in his infinite mercy will counsel and nullify any spoken words of any kind be it evil prayers be it cause or even when somebody even go as much as you know looking at you in an evil way without even uttering a word it has a negative it does if you're someone that does not have a strong spirit, it does have a negative impact against that person. So that is why it's always advisable. I am always advising you all to please practice every recipe I upload on this, my YouTube channel. Because it will always be helpful to you. All right? Now... Some people might be married and maybe the other ones are not married. All right. And, and you know, because those people do not have, like they're not genuinely happy for you. That is married. They go as far as saying, okay, mm, is it by being married? Let, let them see now if that marriage is going to work out for them. If they say that and you, because you don't even know, you were not there to see when they say those words. And if you're someone that is not powerful enough, that is not prayerful enough, that negative, that word they, they have said, even though sometimes they said it out of jealousy, but they've actually sent out a negative energy against you. They've actually sent out a force against you that if you don't, if you're not powerful or you don't pray, powerful I mean is you praying and doing the spiritual and natural things I'm always uploading on this, my channel. If you're not powerful enough, if you're not prayerful enough, that word that they have sent, sent out against you tends to start manifesting in that your marriage. So that is why it's always good for you to be a prayerful person. Always pray. Don't be empty. Always pray yourself out. All right? You might just start business now. And, you know, with your open heart, with your clean heart, because you're happy for what God has done for you. You go as far as, you know, hosting party and invite all your friends and say, please oh, come and see what God has done for me. You know, come and see that they should come and 
follow you and celebrate and thank God in heaven for making it possible for you to open that your business, that your, you know, company or something, your school or hotel, PlayStation or anything. And they will still come, do you understand, and smile with you, laugh with you, dance, and some of them will even go as far as spreading money on you. But inside their hearts, some just few, not all anyways, it's just few of them that is genuinely happy for you. Why some other persons are, like they are just eating up, they are asking themselves, why must it always be you? Why must it always be you? Okay, that is not by opening business. I let them see now. If you're going to succeed in that your business if you're going to do greatly exploit in that your business so how do you tackle every negative or trance even if they don't say it out and they harbor that evil thoughts in their hearts when you use this my Bible verses I am going to show you all here now to pray every night before you sleep eh? any word of any kind that they release against you or they even look again look at you in an evil way or in a wicked way it will never have any effect of any kind against you so before you ask god in heaven for anything you must ask god for forgiveness you must ask your creator and your maker our god and our father to forgive you of all your sins and that is where your psalm 51 comes in okay now you read psalm 51 and ask god to forgive you of every sins that you have committed knowingly and unknowingly and any way that you have gone short of his glory that he should please forgive you now after asking god in heaven for forgiveness for the forgiveness of your sins both the ones you committed knowingly and unknowingly and in your heart you know that yes god has forgiven your sins you now proceed and read this bible verse psalm 12 from verse 1 to the end when you read this bible verse you also read it and pray and ask god in heaven to counsel and nullify every negative words that has been spoken against you against your life against your marriage against your finances against your business against your children against your family in a whole against your friends your loved ones friends and well-wishers you pray extensively using these bible verses i am going to i am mentioning to you all here i'm also going to leave it under the comment section of this video please if i don't remember do well to remind me so i can pin it on the comment section of this video okay now, after reading your Psalm 12 from verse 1 to the end, and also use it to pray and ask God to counsel and nullify. In fact, let me read this Psalm 12 from verse 1 to the end for you, so that you will understand what I mean. Now, Psalm 12 verse 1 says, Help, Lord, for the godly man sees it. For the faithful fell from among the children of men. They speak vanity everyone with his neighbor with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak verse 3 the lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things i hope you all are listening now verse 4 who have said with our tongue will we prevail our lips are our own who is lord over us oh god have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, verse, f verse 5. For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now will I arise, said the Lord God of hosts. Amen. I will set him in safety from him that profit at him. Verse 6. The words of the Lord are pure words. God's words are pure. Like I told you all, I said whenever you are praying to God, always remind him his words. <laughs> that is one powerful secret I always used to hold my king. Whenever I am asking my God in heaven for anything, I always pray and remind Jehovah his words. And when I do that, I get instant answer 
So anytime you are praying is a secret I am giving you all that is in this my family, that is in this my channel. Always remind God his words. When you do that, hmm, you are you are you are hitting God. We are we are as in he can't God does not fail. When you remind him his words, he will always answer you with speed. Alright. Now let's proceed. Verse 7. Okay, I've not finished it. Verse 6. He said, The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. God's words are clean. God's words are clean. Like it has nothing to be compared with. It has absolutely nothing to be compared with nothing. Now verse 7. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Amen. The wicked, that is verse 8 and the last verse of Psalm 12. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Hmm? So this Psalm that I have read out here has already you know giving you a hint of what i have said here already and you are now using it to pray and ask god in heaven to preserve your life to preserve every good thing that he has given you and never to allow the evil utterance of the wicked ones to come against or to utter that which god has given to you in your life now, after praying with Psalm 12, the next Psalm you need to pray with every night to use and reverse every evil of any kind that anyone has done against you. To use and reverse every negative words, every evil prayers of any kind that anybody has said against you, be it cause looking at you in a negative way, harboring evil, or even saying, or pagi. In, in his or her in, in their heart against you. The next Bible verse you need to read is Psalm 140. Alright, I'm not going to read that in order to save your time. And I am using King James Version for this. So any Bible you have, be it the NIV version or the King James Version, is hundred percent okay. All of them are as long as you read it and it's God's words that is enough, it's okay. Now after that, the next Bible version you need is Psalm 74, 72, sorry. And that is it. After doing that, just sleep and know that God has taken over. Okay? And any negative words that anybody has released against you in any way will remain counseled and nullified. And it will never have any negative effect of any kind against your life in general. Alright? God bless you as you do this. Please make sure you do this every night before you sleep. It's not much. The Bible verses are not long, all right? Do it. I do it every night before I go to bed. So I am also urging you all here on my channel, YouTube channel, to please do it every night before you sleep and see God working out everything in his ways for you, all right? So thank you, my amazing people, for watching this video to this point with me. I have come to the end of this video. If you find value in this video, please do well to give me a thumbs up. All right? And if you're seeing my face for the first time, please do well to subscribe to this my channel. And I appreciate you so very much for stopping by. Okay? Do well to subscribe to this my channel. And if you're seeing, if you're my returning subscribers, you guys are my real mvp i don't take your your support for granted i appreciate you so much god bless you okay and for those of you that are sharing my videos i say may god almighty replenish you and bless you always for me thank you and god bless you i'll see you all on my next video thank you and bye-bye